uh, dear students uh, this is topic electromagnetic wave uh, propagation uh, section 9 b uh, this is a supplementary topic we uh, are going to now discuss uh, it was mentioned in the earlier uh, to first topic that is the propagation of wave in a non conducting medium where we uh, define that k is a wave vector so uh, it is a short topic uh, just emphasizing the what the wave vector is about so wave vector k the wave vector k uh, specifies the direction and the wave number of a plane wave in 3d space uh, since earlier we uh, have assigned the this uh, omega uh, into epsilon mu square root uh, equal to k where k was further uh, given the uh, k magnitude and the unit vector k which was also given as a u is arbitrary k the uh, unit direction uh, since the phase velocity v is given as 1 over epsilon mu square root so or we can put that uh, 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 that epsilon mu square root is equal to 1 over v space we have to e the phase velocity uh, we get this uh, term k omega by v k as we have if here we put the uh, mu epsilon root uh, square root value 1 over v so we get the k is equal to omega over v we can also get the we have done this topic before uh, in the uh, section 8 as well where k was equal to omega over v omega is the angular frequency of the wave and we consider that to be constant since uh, omega is equal to 2 pi f and its angular frequency related with the linear frequency uh, so putting the value of omega we get the k is equal to 2 pi f over v the speed of the wave is defined as v is equal to frequency times the wavelength supporting the value of the v over here but we get k is equal to 2 pi f or f lambda and the term frequency in the denominator and the numerator denominator and numerator they are cancelled and we are left with the 2 pi over lambda now this is k is equal to 2 pi lambda and it has the unit radian per meter so the k wave number is also defined as the number of radians per unit length and also termed as the angular wave number this is angular wave number or circular wave number or a wave number simply wave number so k wave number is further defined in a number of ways uh, very interestingly that as a the k wave number is defined also as a number of radians swept by the unit wavelength uh, so k is equal to 2 pi by lambda can also further express as the angular frequency of a wave in space this is very interesting the angular frequency of a wave in space k describes uh, this this aspect of the wave as well so well since the omega we normally we take which is the angular frequency in time is called the angular frequency of the wave in time so uh, as the omega is given by 2 pi by t which is has the unit radians per second while in this case we have the uh, angular uh, you can see the frequency in space here angular frequency in time because the space and time both uh, are related k is this about the space frequency and omega is about the time frequency now the k when the k is a wave vector it has a three dimension but we take for the moment of uh, k is in x y and z in three dimensions but we take as a plane wave uh, is uh, moving across this x y axis uh, 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 crossing through the origin 
and wave lambda is the wavelength between the two consecutive uh, plane wave fronts. These are plane wave fronts we are traveling. K is the direction uh, we have already defined that one, and it has now we take two uh, components Kx and Ky. So Kxi plus Kyj, we will be treating this problem in the coming topics. So over there, it will have two components. In the given figure, plane wave front of the wave in xy plane uh, is uh, directed along the, uh, the, the resultant k wave vector which is perpendicular to the plane of the wave. So, the k wave vector has two components k x and k y along each x and y axis respectively. Uh, k and omega are the space and time k is a space and time angular frequency so k is a, a space angular frequency so omega is a time angular frequency so with this we reach to the end of the topic uh, e w uh, e m w p dash s 9 uh, topic so the supplementary topic uh, which was the s 9 b so uh, that's it for now and inshallah we will uh, uh, meet again the next topic thank you